millions of Americans suffer from sleep apnea, which can sound like dreadful snoring. But did you know one of the world's oldest instruments could actually help cure it? Well, this is the didgeridoo. It's an Australian instrument. We're here with Barry, who's a didgeridoo instructor and owner of LA Outback. So welcome. Welcome. Bonjour, welcome. thank you. And uh, this can cure snore because I snore pretty bad. Well, I'm it, really interested in and it. And I can attest to that because on that <laughs> ski trip, you snored like I a... kept you awake for a while. Sorry. So snoring, yeah. it can it's be a, a result of obstructive sleep apnea. And studies have shown that this actually, believe it or not, can help with snoring, sleepiness during the day, or sleep apnea. And what you're looking at there is, in sleep apnea, the tissue in the back of your throat literally prevents airflow from going down into your trachea. And unfortunately, that's when people startle awake, they're gasping, they're choking. This instrument right here can promote something called circular breathing. And when you look at this, you're literally breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Not through your nose, then out through your mouth. At the same time, breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. And I've been trying to do this all day, Barry. How do you do it? I and like Jim, to say the Actually, name. Jim, show us your attempt. No, I want to let you guys go first. No, I want to no, see you just show us how to breathe in and out. Oh, you mean without this thing? Yeah. I've been trying to do that. you got to get fill your mouth with air, right? You use the air that's already inside your mouth. Mm -hmm. You push that out to keep your lips vibrating, which is what creates the sound. And then you take a very quick sniff of air in through the nose at the same time. Now, it's not as difficult as it sounds. That sounds pretty hard. Yeah. Yeah. You're yeah. using air that's already in your mouth to keep your lips vibrating as you take a quick sniff of air. Do you want me to demonstrate it real quick? Yes. Yeah. Oh, sure. This is intriguing. So I'm going to take a breath while the sound of the didgeridoo stays continuous. And what I'll do is I'll draw my hand toward my face as I take a breath. This strengthens the upper airway in a way that no That's other cool. musical right. instrument does. <laughs> I want to see Lisa try. Oh, wait, I got a little bit. I got a little bit. And that's very good because you guys are trying to learn circular breathing, but you don't even know how to play the didgeridoo yet. So you're doing very good. All right, Lisa, go for it. I just did it. <laughs> Good start. All right, as we go to break, this is not that hard to learn. Lisa is going to continue to perfect the didgeridoo. <laughs> Thank you, Barry. Sure, we appreciate right, Lisa, it. You, you and Drew have a have a didgeridoo off. <laughs>